breakfast duty. That's what I'm on today, which is just tea and toast because ever since the hospital, Liana's been addicted to toast. They tell you that after birth, the toast that the nurses give you is just the best toast you'll ever have in your life. And apparently they weren't lying. Liana had the best toast ever. And ever since, I've been making a tea and toast every morning, which is fine. It's very easy. So we don't really have like a feeding schedule in terms of like who feeds when. It's not like, right, let's take it in turns every time we need to feed because we just thought that would be impractical. And also Liana's been recovering, so she's had to take it easy. So at the start, when we were in hospital and stuff, I was doing all the feeds and stuff, which is fine. But now at home, Liana has insisted she wants to feed as well because she is capable. She's got like a little pillow and she's quite comfortable. And to be honest, it works really well. Because she's expressing as well, through the night I'll feed him and she'll be next to me expressing. But it's pretty much just, oh, I'll feed him this time, or I don't mind feeding him this time. And there's never really a time where we've gone, oh, I don't want to feed him. Because you get a free cuddle at the same time. But we are very blessed with Cozy. We already got him into like a day and night routine. So he knows exactly when it's like sleep time and when it's wake up time. I'm not 100% sure how that works, but I think it's because we go to bed about the same time every night now. Whereas pre-Cozy, we'd be going to bed all over the place. 1 a.m., 3 a.m., 11 p.m. And I think they also know dark and light as day and night. So we have some good curtains upstairs to keep out the light. So he sleeps very well. I think it's okay to let a baby sleep through, but we choose to wake him up to make sure that he's eating enough because obviously as you guys know he's a big boy plus we don't want to waste Leona's breast milk because if she expresses it in the night it only lasts like four to six hours outside I think I'm really hoping that Cozy's finished eating now so Leona can eat her toast while it's warm what they say is true parenting is a lot of cold coffee and cold food Cozy always wants feeding just as we have dinner happens every time breakfast is served oh my goodness he's still eating yeah. I did fear he's this Deja vu. Okay. It's the same room I went to sleep hey, in. Bloody chairs gone. Oh, it might not be the exact same room. It might be a room that looks exactly it's the same. It's just identical, isn't it? Yeah, because your chair was better than that, wasn't it? Yeah, I had like a big head stain where loads of men had laid. He's still got no clue what's going on. Mm. It's feeding time at the zoo. Are you hungry? He's definitely hungry. He's so excited he can't he find the bottle. Me. He doesn't <laughs> let me get near. He's like, I'll just eat my hand. Is she trumping at the same time? <laughs> oh, scrunchy faces. Chevron has been changed. Is that a chef? Is that a slazenger? I was sat here, mister. Mummy's had her drip. We have to stay here now for 30 minutes to see if mummy's okay. Yeah, cosy, all your dry skin's on this changing mat. His outfit is so mismatched, but he still looks no, adorable. No, I feel like it does match. You think so? Yeah, okay. We'll take it. But he looks cute, and this is so easy to push. I think you should push. Where's my clocks? I've not been in the car for the longest time, and last time I was in here, my whole belly was jiggling because I'd just had the surgery, and I just felt everything. And strange being sat in the back. I'm used to being sat in the front. Little baby. Having the time of his life. I think he likes the car. Daddy's just like a chauffeur. Very alert driver. A lot of people around here can't drive, so. The excitement of being able to park in the child parking. Yeah. Oh! We're close to the shop. No ding dong merrily on highs on this car. <laughs> I'm so glad you've come out in your socks. Shut you look up. beautiful. <laughs> can't open the pram. We got, yeah, this is a real struggle, guys. Do you want to swap? Do you want to swap? Yeah, okay. probably. I've actually got no idea how you open it. I mean, that's how I closed it. You broke a pram trying to open <laughs> Why is this, like, so us? I'm embarrassed. <laughs> well, I thought it'd be as easy to open it as it was to close it. Oh, my God, the shop's going to close. It closes in 10 minutes. Come on, babe. <laughs> the, shop, the shop closes in 10 minutes. <laughs> I've done everything. I've, I've literally, I've done everything. I've, I've twisted. I've... You clearly haven't done everything because it hasn't opened. <gasps> no way, no way. He's done it. He's done it. Oh my god. Are they even gonna let us in? We made it in before closing time. Liana's on pushing duty, doing a very good job. Very swell. He keeps making some weird faces at me. It's his first time out and about. <laughs> first time out and he's sleeping or wriggling. He loves this whole pram malarkey. He just slept through the whole thing. I'm almost certain that he has no idea we just left the house. <laughs> I just, he, he's been in this state the whole time. I'm so confident he just has no idea what's just so been I mean, down. We just got an 
angel baby just sleeps and eats. And he sleeps all night. Look at him. He's so content just in his chair. He actually looks really comfy. Oh, his little hands on his legs. So I've actually got dressed. It's kind of a different day today because we've got lots that we need to do. So we need to get out of the house. We need to go register with the GP. We need to go to the shop. We need to go get cat food. So mummy needs to find Babby an outfit and it's really warm. So yeah, what to put him in. All of the clothes that I bought him that fit him now are the clothes that I thought he'd fit in in winter. So we also need to buy him some more outfits. I have to do this one. What do we think? Is that the cutest thing you could find? Babe, everything that I bought that fits him was for winter because he's so big, he has no summer clothes. So he needs a whole new wardrobe. Oh he yes, he needs a whole That's new cute. wardrobe. Like okay, so while daddy is doing the feed before we go, I swear it feels like, you know when you're feeding a baby, it feels like you're constantly feeding the baby. So while he does that, I need to clean a bottle because obviously we're going out. So I need to clean the sterilized bottle and I need to fill the bag. And then we'll leave the cleaning till later, otherwise it's going to get too late, but keeping up with the cleaning. If you already know, then you know that we were terrible at keeping up with tidying anyway. And now it's like, where do you start? <laughs> Grabbing the bag. <laughs> Hello, Miss Juan. What have we got in here? That's a good question. Right, we've got wipes, nappies, a little changing mat, a little foldable one. Where's Dodie in? So we weren't going to change his baby grow, but he just threw up all over himself and daddy's leg. So uh, we definitely cha we've changed it. He's now blue. He looks like a blueberry. I'm blue, daddy, daddy, daddy. just patiently watching. Where is it, Ms. Wan? Is that your brother? He still has no idea. I hope this is going to fit. Is it definitely the right size? Oh, yeah. He's just such a chunky monkey. He is a little chunky monkey. I can't wait to see how cute you look in this little outfit. Look at him. What's he even looking at? We don't know. No, he's, he's looking at my leg, I think. Probably thinking, wow, there's some of my sick that I put on daddy. Look how cute oh, you are. Chicken dip for me. Oh. You, like you watch, you'll have a big poo now and you'll yeah, have to get him out all the buttons. Yeah. He's making a poo face. Should we make a move then? Yeah, thank okay. You. So we've been to the doctors. Success. Well, I say success. They didn't have baby's form. Apparently, we have to go there at a certain time of the day to register baby, which are, makes no sense. But okay. Carla's gone to go and get cat food and Babby is fast asleep. Oh my goodness. And he's snoring like a pig. So now I really want to go. I don't know if this is like new month. I really want to go to M&S, the food hall. So we've got one near-ish, but it's like a little tiny one inside of a massive M&S. I want to go to like the big M&S and you know, get Babby out in the pram. I didn't get the M&S that... Oh my goodness. Didn't get the M&S I wanted. Okay. Mummy's uh, preparing dinner. Oh, sorry. Babby, bro, you're showing the whole world. Nobody can see, it's okay. <laughs> Got a cloth over me, it's fine. <laughs> There's your dinner, Cosman. Nope, still fast asleep, okay. So, how did pumping go? Um, I spilt some all yeah. over my dress. Hey, it's fine, so you know. I'm gonna smell booby juice. No one can judge, you're a mama that's breastfeeding, it's fine. Here we are, mother and son's food. Mother and son's food. I wanted the big M&S food place. It was half an hour away. I feel like he's gonna be really good at coming shopping in the future. All he does is sleeps. Last time we were at M&S, he just slept the whole time. Is it just a boring shop? I feel like it's a boring shop. So we nailed it. We did it. I've got my obnoxious sunglasses on. Connor hates these. I don't even think he knows we've been out. And can you get... Oh, I was going to say, can you guess where we are? You've just seen the big sign. Oh, oh you've jinxed it. Oh. You? Why would you do such a thing? It is food time. We might have to do a park up and feed job. Hey, well, baby boy. Good morning. Good. Oh, my God, that face. Dad is praying. Yes. He's getting the, oh yes, absolutely. Yeah, oh yeah, that's what everyone says. Absolutely. Yeah, that Thank you very much. It'll be and, uh, I know. There's nothing here, is Oh, there? I think there's a pull down. They're in a room with his thing there. I don't know. I'll soon let you know. Oh, he's awake. So, Babby's definitely hungry. We're currently at Audi in the car park, and it's time for a feed. Listen, he doesn't care where we are. If he's hungry, he's gonna wanna eat. We've not got a swivelly car chair yet. We really need one, because it's making this difficult. If we do ever need to pull over and feed him in the car, we're gonna need to have easy access. So a swivelling car chair is definitely the way forwards. This is gonna be fun to see how Liana actually gets him out of the car seat, though. Do you need any help? No, I don't think so. She's got this. What are you looking for? Please tell me you've got it. If you've not got it, you're gonna have to put him on the nip. So, mummy forgot his bottle. So, we are currently just doing a little tiny bit of breastfeeding. I don't mind breastfeeding, I just, I'm still trying to get used to doing it in public. 
but as long as he's fed, we don't care. Connor's running. Excuse me, Mr. Man, big mouth, please. So I, I got peed on. I think this this dress is ruined. I think Babby's content. We will give him a bit more when he gets home. I don't. F oh, <laughs> Mummy didn't satisfy you enough. It's because she pumped. I'm sorry. He's okay. Almost home. So Liana's currently outside feeding Babby. Sprinklers going. It's a glorious day, and I've got some food to take out to her because she's starving and she hasn't eaten yet, which is really naughty. But this is parent life. Sometimes you'd be skipping meals, although she shouldn't be because she's breastfeeding. But we're busy, all right? So, you know, sometimes you can't help it. Right, chopsticks. In the first few weeks of um, having a newborn, eating out becomes more of a common thing, I guess. We try our hardest to cook home meals. I try and cook most nights while Liana's like looking after Babby or um, pumping. So we kind of try and work it out because he normally eats just before we do. He loves to interrupt our food. He'll be asleep and then as soon as we're about to eat, he'll start crying. Oh, I forgot the soy. Hello, Mon Slabber. What a glorious day. Lovely. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I've got your suchy. Uh, I mean, I can't. Yeah. No. Do you want me to feed Mommy's you? Clearly didn't, uh, Do, it wasn't sufficient. Because I'd already pumped. I'm just going to leave it here then with your sticks of chop. So Daddy's actually managed to figure out how to loosen this thing. So we're using it for the first time. And you can sit outside with us in the yeah. shade. He's just eating, so he's probably just going to chill anyway. It's actually it's quite cool in the shade. It's nice. It's probably cooler here than it is in the house right now. Hopefully it's comfy. It looks comfy. He just needs one of them dangly things. How does it feel finally eating sushi again? Is it good? Yeah. Baby's just gone. <laughs> He's eaten, he's full, and he's just gone now. Milk Bless him. Boy. Yeah, he's got a lot of face spots at the minute. They call them milk spots, or what, baby acne too? Milia, apparently. Um, there's nothing you can do about it. We just have to kind of let them go. We wash, we keep washing his face with cotton wool and water, and he's having an actual bath tonight, but you're not supposed to put any soap on it, any cream on it, nothing. You're just gonna let his skin sort it out. There's his skin getting used to the world. He's fine. Operation Ooh. Clean Kitchen. Are you ready? So whilst Liana's cleaning the bottles, I've got the more important job, and that is making myself... Oh, hello! Making myself a coffee, because caffeine is key when you're a new parent, isn't it, babe? Oh, yeah. Caffeine is something that we love and live by. Hello! Are you going to be a coffee drinker, Cozy? Uh, he's asking for food. <laughs> oh, baby boy, what's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> So we're in the office now, which is where Connor does the editing. Hello. And Babby was asleep, but he's he no to longer to. asleep. Mummy was gonna edit her video, but it's not looking promising because I think someone needs a cuddle. What are you saying? You want a little cuddle? And then I've got this massive yeah. oh baby chair in here, which reclines and rocks because it was more comfortable for me when I was like in the beginning stages of recovery. Oh my god, it looked like your arms had disappeared then. We keep looking at, at his eyes and we're like, what colour are they going to be? I think they're going to be blue. You think they're going to be blue as well, don't you? I don't know, I hope so. You want to read a book? Read a book. He just said, yeah. No, he didn't. You want to read a book? He went, yeah. I'm scaring the poor bloke. <laughs> poor bloke. Maybe we should take him to the jungle. <gasps> we should take him to the zoo. zoo. When he gets a bit older, we can take him to the zoo and he can look at all the animals and point at them and laugh. He's trying to eat me. Yeah, he's always hungry, isn't he? You didn't feed me enough, mummy. <laughs> One day, a little boy awoke. Oh. Oh, he's hating it so far. <laughs> he's hating it so Sat far. Sat up and rubbed his eyes. <laughs> oh, he hates this story. <laughs> Looked over at his bedroom door. Oh, this is not a good story. Have we got a different book, Mummy? This one's horrible. Get his Dodie out. He loves Daddy. I love Daddy. He chose that one himself. Who are you looking at Mummy's eyes? <laughs> Mummy is getting dinner ready. He's just falling asleep. He's having a cuddle before he gets fed again. Feels like we fed him three minutes ago. Patiently waiting to put our own dinner on, so we can. <laughs> Okay, I'm back in my PJs. I've got to be quick because Cosman's hungry. Milk acquired. How much have we got? Five and a half. It'll do. Need to make Bobby's bottle. Ah! And then I need my injection. Con has to take, has to give me my injection, which stops blood clotting. And I need to get my compression socks back on. And I need to take my iron tablet. Go go feed the child first. 
Dinner is complete. The key to dinner is these days just eating as fast as you can, inhaling your food so that um, he doesn't cry before you finish and then you can pick him up when you're done and give him a cuddle because he loves to cry when you're halfway through your fish fillet. Anyway, we're currently, uh, well, we're trying to bath him. We saved this for the video because it's the first time we've ever done it so we thought it'd be interesting to see how it's done and bring you guys along. But also, we were told to try and leave it as long as we could because they're natural. <laughs> Yeah, they're bar yeah, they have like natural oils and stuff that come through on the skin, so it's good to not bath them straight away. So we've left it three weeks, which is long enough. We have been giving him cotton wool baths, by the way, because obviously he gets a bit of stale milk down his throat and stuff when he's eating. Look at his little cute face. Whoa. No. Is that nice, cozy woo? Luckily, after this, we're going to take him through to the bedroom and do his final feed of the night, and then we can get some sleep as well. Oh my goodness, he's actually loving this. Is that nice? Is that nice? He's got such a content face. He's warm. Good boy. Oh, you're so beautiful. This is probably the cutest part of being a parent so far, seeing his cute little face and how much he enjoys the warm water. That's uh, that's a sign of enjoyment. You have the nice Time. Just like this, yeah? I'm not sure what he thinks about this. There's a lot of wriggling going on. Oh my goodness. He's like, hey guys, I was nice and warm in the bath. Can you please put me back in? That is so cool. All he is is one little thing and he absolutely loved it. Look at his little face. Oh my goodness. You're so clean. Come on then, let's go to the bedroom. So we're in bed now, and Babby's currently having his last feed of the night. Leona got pictures, insert some cute pictures of Cozy after the bath right now. He loved it, and now he's, he's just absolutely cried his head off at me because I was taking too long to put the bottle in his mouth. But he's okay now, he's chilled out. Leona's bought me some raspberry jelly upstairs. Life is good, yeah. life is good. And I got your water. And you got me your water, amazing. So we realized that uh, we, we, we did have more planned tonight. We were gonna clean the kitchen and stuff and put his new bed up. So it's 12 minutes past 10, which is um, around about our new bedtime since having a baby. So we're gonna sign off, but we are gonna catch up with you in the morning to finish off the video. So. Good night, guys. Hello. So we've just finished feeding little Cozy for the 740th time, it feels like today. And Liana's gonna try her, what is it? Wrap, but it's one that you've gotta do yourself. Chicken Caesar. So she's gonna try and wrap Cozy and then we're gonna walk around the garden a little bit and see how that goes because yeah. we haven't done it before. You did do it with a doll. I did. And how did that go? Not so well. Right, well, hopefully this is uh, better as this is our actual child. That it looks sweltering. Sorry, who gave you this tutorial? It goes into this. Right. Like it's like doing a tie for a wedding. Big crossover, and then, then to the side. Double knot. So where does he go? Uh, now that makes perfect sense. Yeah, well, I don't know if I'm doing this right. Well, it looks right. He can't fall out of there. Is that like a double duo duplex safety lock? He's just got little feet sticking out each side. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that looks extremely comfortable. Can does I... it? Does it? Have I done it right? Do you think there might be room in there for me? Oh. Or... Hello. So our midwife is currently here and it's the last appointment, which means it is the discharge appointment. So Liana's currently in the living room with Megan. So I've decided to take it upon myself to clean this absolute mess that's been created in the kitchen. This is just literally behind the scenes of having a newborn. Sometimes you don't have time to clean as you go along. It's so strange thinking that we're never gonna see Megan again. Bear in mind we've seen her like almost every week running up to the birth and at the birth. Maybe we'll just have another kid. Anyway, here's what we're dealing with right now. We've, got, we've just got dinners and stuff and bottles and coffee and you know, it's just generally a mess. So like I said, I'm gonna tackle it. Let's see how long it takes. I'm gonna do a little time lapse. Is it boring? Is that boring. I'm just gonna get to it. Uh, Tommy? No, 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 no. I don't know how this is gonna go because I think Cosman wants He's a little hungry. bit of food. But Mummy's just bit what? A little jungle team for Baby Man. So we're gonna put him on and see what yeah. he does. Yeah, I mean, he kind of. He kind of tummy time on this. Oh, wow, look at this. <laughs> Look at this cozy. He doesn't care about this. He's too small. He just wants food. Oh. He literally doesn't even know what this is. His vision is still blurry. He's not even a month old. He just wants the bottle in his mouth now. Oh, he has stopped crying. Though. <laughs>
Hello? Do you see these things we put above your head? You are supposed to play with them, okay? Oh! Right, so, um, that is it for our pretty much day in the life. Say goodbye! Bye, guys! We love you millions! Bye! Bye.